Tonight, voters in America's biggest swing states say the special counsel's accounts of President Biden's memory lapses only reinforce their concerns about the president's age. Jada George voted for Biden in 2020. It's kind of scary. You know, he's like the, the commander in chief. He should you know, be able to remember things. But no Democrats we spoke to here in Battleground, Pennsylvania, the president's birthplace, said the report would change their plans to vote for Biden a second time. I think in terms of the policy and kind of where the the country's going right now, I, I, you know, I'll favor him. Theater manager Rob Cash telling us he's also convinced by Biden's likely opponent. You still think he's head and shoulders over the other guy? Absolutely. Absolutely. The other guy's a joke. Trump is a joke. I'm sorry. He was a joke. But for Trump supporter Paris Williams, the difference between the 81-year-old Biden and the 77-year-old Trump is much greater than four years. Trump's not much younger. Not much younger, but you can see somebody getting older. You can see age. Donald Trump's campaign has spent the last day blistering President Biden over the contents of that report. And the former president is expected to do the same when he takes the stage here behind me tonight for what will feel like the first general election rally of this campaign season. Lesser. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.